You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's America's Got Talent After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's America's Got Talent After Show. Hey everyone and welcome to AfterBuzz TV's After Show for America's Got Talent. I'm so excited to be here with these two handsome men dancing to this uh-huh. random song right here. <laughs> I am Corey Takei and joining me I've got Brandon takes. James. Different strokes to take. And I love Different having you on this table. World. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I know. It's been a while. It's been a while. Actually, I think that song is so appropriate for our entrance because we have an Asian, a gay, and Jesus. Nice. So it works out perfectly. My <laughs> children, it's so great. To, I've been resurrected to come back and talk about America's Got Talent. Did you run out of razors or what, dude? But It's a look. It's a look. I know. Wait, yeah, I like it. wait. What's happening? Wait, don't, don't, says don't, the guy don't, don't, don't who has a Macklemore haircut. Yeah, so please know. let us know when Daniel Weiss returns to the panel. But in the meantime. All right, pink. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm not offended by that at all. She's uh, pretty damn talented. <laughs> she is. So we are recapping season eight, episode 10. I believe it's season nine, actually, because I was on season eight. I oh, just... no, what are you on He today? would know. So I don't mean to correct nine. you, but. Uh... Uh, quarterfinals, the first quarterfinals, we have 12 acts tonight um, from 48 acts. So let's get to it. And Sean and Luke, guys, Sean and Luke, the tap dancing high school looking kids what oh that think? was like that was like the tap dancing mm-hmm. boy band right yeah yes. yeah yeah and they had this bromance thing which <laughs> was weird. Still didn't... like the little heart the heart nail shape yeah. it was weird i think the only thing that was wrong with them was that the ladies who were dancing behind them were much more talented <laughs> <laughs> it's true you know that's a good point that's no yeah thing. it's very I... true yeah that's and never a good that, thing they were great <laughs> Like, how come those girls weren't on? I felt like it was a little longer than it should have been. Like, maybe 90 seconds longer than it It was like 90 been. minutes instead of 90 <laughs> seconds. Yes. Yeah, that one it took some time. So let's just move on to the next one. We've got Velo and Bobby. Um, Velo, I, I guess that's the chick, right? I forget which mm-hmm. one is which. She did this hamster thing. I think she's <laughs> Bobby. Well, either way. The chick, or the lady, or the woman, however you want to call I don't mind being called a chick, so I don't take it offense. I mean, she, I'm sorry she spins do. wheels on a bike like she's yeah. a chick. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and she did a really good job, and she actually impressed you. Yes. Well, it wasn't so much her. It was the fact that this guy was lifting up a pole with a woman on a mm. bike doing circles at the end of it. That's what impressed me. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. I've seen a lot of acts like that before with the BMX sort of thing mm-hmm. and the cages, but I've never seen someone actually balancing. Like, normally right. they have rigging for that. Yeah. And the yeah. fact that this guy was doing it was pretty amazing. Well, yeah. you also have to think, and it looked easier on TV watching it, but you also have to think that not only is he holding up this pole with a steel dome at the top or circle, and this woman, woman in a, and bike, a bike, but not only that, but she's going in a circle. So to be able to hold that pole straight right. while yeah. she is going in motion is incredible. Yeah. I'm, what, what are they categorized as? Because I don't know. I, I think they're called a danger act, actually. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Maybe a danger act or and, acrobatic, maybe. Yeah. And they were, the producers made the right call by saying, like, we're not sure if this is too dangerous for the show. Mm-hmm. And it actually, yeah. it actually felt that way. They weren't sensationalizing That's it. That's true. Absolutely. If, she, if he made one small move, she could have fallen and died god forbid because I'm, I'm quite curious to know um considering what i guess danger act what other things that they're going to show if they make it through right, after this he's just gonna shoot her in the face no come on now with a gun <laughs> <laughs> oh. let's not get into guns again remember that last one 
All right, I left my guys. But yes, home. we all agree that it was very, very impressive. A very, very good show. That they yeah, pulled. I was kind of surprised yes. the judges didn't stand up, to be honest. Cause I know. Well, I don't think they stood up at all, except when they had to. One time for the. We'll get to them. Okay, because I don't but, remember. But can we like segue to the judges real quick? Sure. Because Nick is growing out his afro. It reminds <laughs> me of. Is it Apollo from Rocky? Apollo yes. Creed? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the dude. He yes. got killed by the Russian, right? Yes, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's trying to compete with Howard. I don't know <laughs> what that's all about. He's um, trying to look like a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi, skinny black with an <laughs> afro on top. <laughs> that's funny and slightly racist. A little bit. I'm allowed to be racist. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Any other comments on the judges? Let's because, see. I let's think see. Heidi actually kind of looks scary tonight, and I've never seen her look scary. Really? She always looks beautiful, but she had she this is. weird ghostly makeup on and that thing. Oh, yeah, she had like little white dots on yeah. her inside of her eyes. And then Mel B was dressed like a <sighs> slutty Catholic schoolgirl. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess lace is back and did that like marmy thing. Fashion I don't know. police. I, don't know. I know. And Howie, I just never, he just doesn't have any hair. <laughs> That's, uh, maybe it's safer that way so he gets no comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually like Howie a lot. How how did you like him? No, if I, I can ask you that, you don't have to answer. No, that no, either. he's cool. I like okay. him. I like him a lot. I mean, I think he takes his shirt off a little too much, but, <laughs> but he's cool. He's a really nice guy. Very, yeah. very genuine. He seems nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, we actually interviewed him once. I, yes. He actually didn't. He, he remembered really nice me from when I was nine. I swear. Really? No. Mm, no. Oh. But he can pretend. <laughs> but I met him when I was nine. So you guys, let's talk about Julia Goodwin. Let's. Sixteen-year-old singer. Um, she sings Iris by Blue mm. Dolls, and I hate to say it, but that is a <laughs> really good song. Wake up. What? What? Oh, gosh, I had this horrible <laughs> dream that the singer bored me to sleep. She, I mean, that song is, you know, it's kind of iconic. Everyone knows that song. Everyone loves that song, and she made it worse than it she was. She did. There yeah. wasn't, like, we were talking about how... In that song, like that guy's voice breaks the top. Like he, you believe every word mm -hmm. he's saying. You do. Um, and she just, mm, I don't know. And the thing is, is I looked her up, and she's actually like a professional, <laughs> <laughs> and sings in some really cool places in New York. Um, no, she's a sixteen-year-old that plays soccer. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, that's right. That's she's right. She's just right. a kid who doesn't could do I be so anything foolish? spectacular. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, obviously there's going to be a, a couple of those talents that have more experience than others. And we'll get to some of them later. Are you telling me that you hadn't sung on stage before? You never know. That actually That's never what he sung. said. That's what he said in his montage. Fine. I remember I know. back in James' montage. Oh. oh, I do too. He was crying. His mom was, was there. it was kind of a lie. I have sung <laughs> before. Oh. Wait a, a second. You liar. A Are you telling I mean, me that your mom didn't... doesn't actually hate you? It, no, yeah, that was all, that, everything was made up. It was all, it was all. I mean, you know, we had to, we had to come up with a good story. It was and that sensationalized. Was, Are you even gay? Uh, we'll we'll answer that next episode. <laughs> okay, good. To That's, be continued. Yeah, to be continued. Well, what did you think? Instead of picking on Brandon, I thought she was boring. I agree with you. Okay. Well, I agree with the statement I made earlier. She, I, I do like that song. It's a bit poppy for me, but. The iris. Yeah. But she did it a disservice. <laughs> she just, I, I don't know. Yeah, it just, to me, <laughs> it like, I don't like singers on this show anyway that I can go, like regular pop singers. Mm -hmm. If it's something I could hear on the radio or see on America's Got Talent, to, or American Idol or The Voice or whatever, Great American Sing Off, to me, it's not a different enough mm -hmm. act mm -hmm. for this show so i don't like it anyway and she didn't give me anything to like yeah on top of that mm -hmm. i agree yeah i agree with you too it's supposed to be the show is about bringing different talent to the table yes. and there's nothing unusual about some of the singers yes. that are on there i'm yeah. not going to turn on the radio and hear opera on a regular station i'm not going to you know, see Kenichi on regular shows. Like, that's right. what True. I want to see. Stand up acts are hard to see on TV unless it's a reality show about stand up. But these pop singers, I can hear and see them all over the place. That's not, to me, that's not what this show is. Right. But yeah. they're probably really uh, marketable for 
producers, record labels, yes. they can yes. make a lot of money off of That's them. True. So you got to have them in the show. That's very, very true. Well, then, I'm going to talk popular. about them the way I do. What do you guys think about the Baila yes. Comido? Baila Comido. Baila Comido. There you go. Dance with me. Say. Dance with me. What do you think of them we dancers? Know. Um, you know, I like them. They're they have a lot of energy. Uh -huh. I like that they're very passionate. There's a lot of kids, but uh, did we not see this last year? And we year see it every that, year, year, exactly. It's just this year's uh, what Florida All Stars or whatever they were called. I don't know what you're talking about. The anymore. Miami All Stars. Whatever. The the couple that was they came back every year for four years in a row okay. with their kids. I see. I see. It just to me was yeah, the same yeah. thing over again. But now there's little I kids. I mean, they're good. They're good. But a million dollar act? Mm. Well, this is what I said. No, they're cute. Mm -hmm. Right. Last week we had a group, Anthony and I forget the other guy, but it was a uh, male. Uh, there are two guys that danced the flamenco. I believe. Okay. And I said about them, I feel with that dancing that there's a top. You can't get even the best of them are still not the best talent. But then those guys surprised me and brought it to a whole new place and I really liked it. But these people, Baila Comigos, <laughs> I thought I this it wrong. I thought Baila Conmigo. <laughs> sure. Dance with me, not dance with me. <laughs> Why not? Dance with all of me. <laughs> I felt that they had reached a top where it's like okay they're very good but their good isn't better than the other talents right for this particular showcase right? well for america's got talent yeah i'm saying when it comes down to it i don't think that salsa dancing can at its best can be better than a really good magician well, I, I don't want to jump ahead, then don't. Um, but I'm going to a little bit. Well, I, I do predict to. that they're going to make it through because. Oh, yes. They have a, they they have have a <laughs> large vein of voters. I mean, there's yes. like 17,000 of them on stage. <laughs> yes. And they all have friends and their friends have friends and they all have family. So, yeah, they're going through. I think so, too. <laughs> yes. Uh, what do you guys think of David and Lehman? They are taking selfies with the judges and then they each give they give the ju each judge a book. Um, and they pulled this trick where they can predict what happens in the future. Well, I think close-up magic is kind of a hot commodity right now, okay. and Collins Key kind of needs to get credit for having I love brought Collins that back Key. again and made yeah. it, making it trendy. But the thing that bothers me about it is that there's a whole stage behind them called Radio City, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's a big stage. And when you write in the judges' faces, like I think it's great for TV, but why don't they use the stage? That's what the stage yeah. is for. That's the whole point of being there. And it also, because they don't use the stage, I mean, yeah, because they don't use the stage, it does feel a lot longer than it should be because the audience is not as engaged as they would like to be other than looking at the big screen, right? Right, right. So, yeah, I totally see what you're saying. but It must be terribly boring for the 5,000 people that are <laughs> sitting in there. Yeah. 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 Because it was boring. It's, it's kind of boring for us, too. And I right. love magic. I love magic, and I like seeing all those things, but... I was thinking, this is taking way too long to execute. I also think that it's kind of unfair to use Twitter in your act. I understand, ah. like, from contestant co to contestant, like, Baila Conmigo, they can't use Twitter in their act in the same way. Like, these guys could go viral with their hashtag True. because because they're tweeting photos live, and I, I just think that's an unfair And people are going to go check it out just to make sure that it's yeah, right, that, that it's that actually up real. there. Yeah. yeah I, I thought it was messy. Also, it just it took too long. One of them, I don't remember which one's which, but the sh shaved face one, he was not funny. He was he, he's the guy who's supposed to be while the other guy's doing the trick. He's the comic relief, and he kept trying to make these jokes, and I didn't think they were funny. And then they took way too long with ripping this up and ripping that up. And then when Howie gave them a word, and they're like, "Oh no, not that word." Give us another word. Yeah. Oh, what's it? No. What's it longer? That's true. Okay. Let me look at it and get the word that I want. That's so like, true. That that's seems what happened. weird to me. <laughs> and granted, still, you can say, how did we know he was going to get that page and pick that piece and whatever? But it definitely felt like. Also, no, you know what? They were looking through the paper. Mm -hmm. So they probably put that piece of paper in there. 
that wasn't a piece of paper that anyone ripped up. I feel like that was a plant. Oh. And then huh. they thought that subliminally, so Howie you're, you're, was, you're solving this illusion. I am. Right well, yeah, okay. yeah, and yeah, if yeah. I can I mean, do that, magic is really magic, right? right. We all know no, that. If it's I magic, can solve okay. it, Santa Claus is Santa not. Claus is real. But, okay. he's but real. here's my thing: if there, I can solve it, then watching. it's tough. He's real. And when it comes down to it, like I just felt like it was too muddy. And also, I I feel a little upset because I felt that the magic this year got looked over. Like last week, there was a magician uh, on the finals, Franklin St. Schuster, which was one of the my favorite magicians that I have seen at AGT, period. Okay. Because he did an act where he actually showed you the magic happening. He had a Sprite can that was crushed. And I talked about this last week, so I apologize if I... I don't um, remember him. Do you remember him? I don't because I didn't watch. Oh, oh well, yeah, you guys should watch. Oh, being a superstar Sorry. internationally. <laughs> oh, shut. But he basically, <laughs> he on stage had a can of Sprite that was crushed already. Mm -hmm. And just using one hand, it started to get back into shape and be a, a can. And every, he would always uh, turn it over and nothing would come out. And then it... He was it, turned uncrushed last week. Last week. Oh, I thought you said last season. No, last week. Okay. Uh, the can became uncrushed, and then he put he just waved his hand over the top, and it was closed again. But then he cracked it open and poured it into a cup. See, I right, wasn't Daniel, impressed by he's it. He's gone. He's, he's gone. gone. But what I'm but what I mean, I'm saying is I should get is, you a tissue. No, what I'm saying <laughs> is they got rid of him, and then these guys, David and Lehman, do this trick that to me was so dull yeah. okay. next to that trick that it upsets me even more. Yeah, I know what you're saying. they come on and do this trick. I think a lot of that has to do with marketability again and who may be I guess. who may be a cash cow and who may not be. And you know, the judges and the producers have a lot of say at that point. So yeah. I guess, I, a, but they're not it's charming. A sad, it's but a see, sad I casualty. Would, I okay, I, I don't want to like hash it out too long, but I will say that the um magician that you just mentioned from last week i wasn't that impressed by that act myself i wasn't Mo, well, you hate things that's fine what is that you're the one who, like that went on a 10 minute rampage about these poor fellas i think it was like 10 minutes and 26 <laughs> seconds i think Good. so i, I think so it. perfect um, look i have rants <laughs> deal with it <laughs> well, i'm on top of a mountain i have a feeling i know what you're gonna talk how you're gonna talk about this Bet is the don't. willis clan i think i do I thought they were oh. great. Mm. You're lying. I I am the lying. Willis clan, unfortunately, their only gimmick was that they were a family. Yeah, it was like the Von Trapp kids. And at the and end, they had the two little ones like, be cute and dance. And they couldn't really dance. But you know what? I enjoyed myself for what it was. For what it's worth, it was an entertaining act. You, I, have you ever been to Branson, Missouri? No. I spent four months of my life there that I'll never get back. Are you okay? Oh. <laughs> um, I, I went to therapy. I'm cool now. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Branson. I think they're going to be an awesome act in Branson, Missouri. <laughs> like, it's perfect. Like, it's well, is family. Branson it's the like place where down. they have, like, all these stages and every night there's, there's these acts that people just love them, but they never get go outside of Branson? Yeah, well, some, actually, some. And, I mean, Andy Williams was in Branson for years, and Iconic Singer made his home there. Um Lawrence Welk Orchestra was there for years in residence. Um, some good people. Charo was there. Oh, well, I mean, Charo. Was she's there. quality. But I don't want to go on a tangent here. But the point is, is that they weren't there. They're not. I hope they don't go through. Yeah. <laughs> is that I an awful thing to say? I think they might. It's I possible. don't. I don't like their song choice at all. I don't. Power that, of love. The, but the Huey Lewis version. Yeah. <laughs> they, we're not talking. I was like Celine, Celine Dion. <laughs> that would have been cool. That would have been. If they cool. did something different with it. But yeah. I yeah. don't know. They just seemed like a little banjo jam band. I, I think I they Jug did, band. They did a lot. Well, obviously, it's Radio City Music Hall, so I hope that this happened. But they did do better than their initial audition when I was kind of shocked that they went through. But they did okay. I think I was entertained for what it's worth. But considering how many, how many spots are available now, I don't know if they should make it through. It was like the human talent. version of Disney's Country Bear Jamboree. Yeah, yeah. I feel that way <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. That's why I'm like, go to Missouri. You're <laughs> perfect. <laughs> um, let's talk about Flight Crew Jump Rope because that was pretty cool. I like that. I was impressed by it myself. They they really took over the stage. Yeah, I there thought. was a lot of them that used the trampolines. It was trendy. I felt like it was very current. Um, the only thing that I... 
the last year we had the Ch- Chicago Boys, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yes, they yes, did the yes. jump rope thing, but they had such a compelling story because they were actually rescuing people and taking them out uh-huh. of inner city and out of um, the South Side of Chicago and these areas of violence and educating them and giving them better lives and that was cool. Yeah, this you know they, their story was a little boring to me, but but what about the act itself? I. I think it was cool and current, but I don't know how far it's going to go. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It, when it comes to the dancey acrobaties, it's questionable how long they'll go. Even though Kenichi won, and he's a dancer. But he switched it up yeah. and did things that we haven't seen before. Yeah. And the thing is with them and with Chicago Boys, when I saw Chicago Boys, I hadn't seen people do what they can do with jump ropes. Sure. So if you take them out of the equation, flight crew was really good but the fact of the matter is we saw it last year yeah and so to me it's not as amazing anymore i just didn't know people can do that with jump ropes but now that i do it seems like the standard okay i think also just in general groups sort of have a disadvantage like it's a lot harder to stand up there by yourself and do something um and a lot of times big groups don't go through because i think people can see through that and they can Uh. also i feel that the being able to do a one-man act people are like oh i gotta give them credit for that to be able to stand up there by yourself yeah Mm -hmm. they'll say oh okay well the other group was good but they had 20 people but you this person yeah yeah was all alone yeah that's true so how how did you feel like when you were radio city music hall i need to ask you just being there center did did you get nervous or were you just ready to own the stage? Um, well, luckily I was wearing Depends so you couldn't see me peeing my pants, um, which was very important. Um, <laughs> no, it was very, very it's scary. It's yeah, scary I as bet. hell. Like they count down from five, four, three. Uh huh. And then you're suddenly on live TV. And it's like, have you guys have seen um, mm, Slumdog Millionaire? Yeah. Yes. And Requiem for a Dream? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like the experience is a cross between those two. Mm-hmm. Moments, drugs, and game shows. Yeah, just like you, that you, AGT. Like the yeah, 70s. now we know. AGTs, yeah, like, like when you're standing there by yourself and you're like, "This is actually happening." I'm sure, and you have no support there. You can't look at someone and go, "Hey, yeah, <laughs> we're doing this. Yeah, we're doing this. All right, let's rock it." <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> it is. It's just you. Let's talk about um, Jasmine Flowers, the next dancers. Because I really like them, not because they're Asian. I know you're. That's what you're thinking. <laughs> I was. I didn't say anything. They're eats meets west. Eats um, meets west. Eats me. I can't say it. Eats east meets west. There we go. There you go. Third there. time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they have a fan and flower technique, and they have ballet in there. I think Which, it's really impressive. There's a lot yeah. of precision involved and timing that's really important. I really like them. I really want to see them go through. I don't think they're gonna make it though. I hope they do make I it because I think what was unique about them is that they were so incredibly theatrical and also their first generation, like their parents were all very, very limited in their yeah in their English speaking capabilities. So I'm going to go on a, out on a whim and say that they're first generation. And I really love, I think that's what this show is about. It's like these people are actually living out their American dream mm-hmm. by that's being on the so show. so true. And that's inspiring. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. Yes. How about what do you think? Well, I definitely oh, yes. watched them instead of <laughs> got something out of my contact lens. <laughs> so I definitely watched this act, and I feel that <laughs> you're missing out. I thought they did a, the best job they could have tonight. Well, I'm telling you, you, you got to go back. I'll and go see back it. and watch it again? I, question mark? You got to see it again. Definitely. Have you guys seen La Rev in Vegas? No, I wanted to see I'm that. I'm not a. It's fan cool, of like the colors things. and the way that they presented all the the floral stuff. It's it reminded me of that show. Oh. And it was, yeah, it was really innovative, actually. Now I really need to yeah, see the rest. Yeah, like theatrical. It's the cool. best way I could describe it. Like they created something. Yeah, it's cool. They did. You kind of felt emotional with them they dancing. They did. Mm-hmm. They did. They mm-hmm. did. Well, what do you guys think of Emily West? Yet another one who has um, a slightly more experience than other right. singers on the show. Yeah. Uh, she apparently she got dropped from her previous label, right? And now yeah, she's just singing. I mean, she, she has a phenomenal voice. She does. She's put out a few records. She reminds me of Megan Hilty. Did you guys ever watch Smash? Mm. No. She was a Broadway star. Looks just like her. Sounds just like her. Mm. You guys know how I feel about her. I actually love her. Yeah, yeah. But 
there again she's she's had a career um and the story was about how ah oh, she doesn't have a job i don't know what her mom was worried you mm-hmm. know go get a job <laughs> yeah seriously right well, or work at Starbucks if well, you so have to. Just be, well, because she has more experience and because she's you know had a record deal, do you think that um, she doesn't really deserve, quote unquote, to make it through if she makes it through? Because she is talented. Um, right? I don't know. It depend. It, you know, it depends on how the producers spin the story. I think when they spin the stories and make it seem like they just came out of singing from the shower, uh-huh. it's yes, it's unfair. Her advantage is unfair. Okay. Um, so yeah. Well, what did you guys think of her performance tonight? You know, she sang Chandelier by Sia, which is a very, very tough song to sing. It's epic. It's a very good song. She, obviously, her rendition wasn't as good as Sia's, I don't but think you it's can. pretty good. No, it's like one of those songs. It's like you just you just shouldn't touch a song yeah. like that. Yeah, but it was good. Yes, I agree. She good. she had a very good performance. Daniel. Yeah. I, I don't know the song, so I can't compare. Well, about but just her. She was, but that's what I'm saying. She was very good. I liked it a lot. But, my again, she is a very good singer. Very yes, good. Yes. I can. She obviously has had albums and was on a record label. So I can say I could see her doing this and performing. And she's ready to go out and do it because she did. But, again, I don't want to see singers anymore like that. I don't want to turn on and see a pop singer i don't care what about, i feel like what about an opera singer opera singers are great that's <laughs> what i'm saying that's different yeah. i can't i the thing is that her style of singing is one of the most popular ones right now yes. and though the market is saturated with it i still feel like she would have an easier time making it on her own without agt easier than Brandon would because it's just, it's tough to sell that without having America's Got Talent to be like, hey, this person already has something. He is a name because of this show. It's a tough business, kid. I, I know. But I, I, I get what you're <laughs> saying because AGT kind of allows unique acts and different than the American Idol or the, the Voice or whatnot. And I see why you're saying that you're not that impressed with her right. on AGT. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, like my viewing of it is I'm an actor and I know and it's incredibly hard and I've tried and tried and tried. And some people you can do it really easily. Some people you can't. But I'm not going to go on a reality show and make it as an actor that way mm-hmm. and go up against other people that can't do that as easily. You know, I, there's things I can do. And it's easier. You could go on Big Brother and win a million dollars. Exactly. I could. And you could win over mm-hmm. the audience and not get voted off until the end. Right. But I'm not going to do that because what I'm saying is I have a, I'm in a place where I have more of a chance than a okay. lot of other people. Gotcha. You don't, didn't, unfortunately, your genre doesn't have as much of a chance as hers. Right. You need to be on this show. And yeah, it's yeah. helped you. Yeah, but regardless, like that kind of national exposure, we're talking about the most popular show. Yeah. Yes. 14 million viewers an episode. Oh, absolutely. So like that's, you can't pay for that. That's oh, I agree. Harris that's... Hilton couldn't, couldn't read out Radio City and mm-hmm. give a well, concert. No, she probably could. Well, she, but she, you know, I still think the network would be like, nope, sorry. Yeah, right. I agree. Like, but no, I agree that. with you. But she it, with that being said, like I said, she's very good. It's just, to me, not what I watch this show for. But that's my personal opinion, and that's why all of you tune into this. So why, I mean, so what do you think of J.D. Anderson? The strong way? man. Is that unique for strong you, the man. strong man? Yes. He, uh, he, he was, messed up. He messed he up. He messed up, act. and he did something. He The same thing he did last week at the end. He juggernauted through a bunch of ice. Doesn't that Which, kind of disappoint you that he messed up and then he did the same thing he did yes. last week? Do, so, do you think the wall of ice is thinner than we think it is? <laughs> I think it should be. Probably, right? It seems he, I like mean, it. He couldn't bust that one block, yeah. so the ice was probably just like an illusion. But even <laughs> so, he did it already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Why he busted right through it last him? week. But yeah. with that said, he was a, a showman. He yes, was, he put on a good yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He's an entertainer, and it's so 
unique in a way and cheesy. I, I feel like Vegas audiences would actually go and pay to see that. But how would you feel if you spent 50 bucks to see this guy plow his way through different forms of ice and have him mess up? I think right. if there was some comedy attached to it that it could be a fun night. I don't know. I'd be upset. I'm like, man, he, he got he got pissed that he well, didn't. I don't know. After one the... of those yard tall <laughs> drinks, I might be way into That's true. It. Well, but also, true. the difference is the percentage. Uh, With that, I mean, if I see a 90-minute show and he messes up one trick, then that's fine. I can get over that. But if it's a 90-second show and he messes up one trick, that's a high percentage of his show. Good point. Good yes. point. So that's, that's you know, if you look at that, he shouldn't be messing something up at this point. Grant, you know, you you want to think ninety seconds. He's doing things that he practiced and has done mm -hmm. and can get it that's down. True. It's true. Focus on these few things. He didn't focus on thirty five stunts. He focused on three. And he kept playing. One of them he already did. <laughs> yeah. Another one he messed up. And, one and the other he one was didn't do breaking because bets. he like he like snapped his fingers and this fire came out yeah. and the right. audience applauded. It was like he didn't do that. Why are right. you applauding? <laughs> fire seems to be big this year. It's always big. There's been a bunch of acts that now there's fire. There's fire. And when there's fire, people will get excited. Right. And For sure. We're yeah. all secretly pyromaniacs. We are. Yeah. Oh, it's not it's a secret. It's so true. According to the courts. <laughs> Moving you, on. What do you guys think of this comedian, Dan Naturman? Oh, it's Natterman. We, Natterman. we were corrected yes. earlier by, uh, by, by Jesus. By me. Oh, thank goodness for you. Jesus. Okay, so Dan Natterman. <laughs> we so. Uh, Dan Natterman. I thought he was great. He's hilarious. Am I the only one um, yes. that... Wasn't that impressed? I think I was. Yes. I mean, here, yeah, mm. I loved him. I thought he was funny. He was like Bob Saget, but funny. Bob Saget's hilarious. Yes, I disagree with you. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> well, I, I, I only have seen him on Full House. Right, so. that's very different. His stand-up oh, yeah, he's is great. a is million he? times mm -hmm. the other okay, way. All right, so I oh, stand no. corrected. He <laughs> is one of the filthiest comics out there. Is he? Yeah, yes. he's so dirty. Look up his stand-up. Oh, okay, all right, all right. He's... I just got tired of him like giving Michelle a lesson. <laughs> <every episode. laughs> How many times could he hug somebody for breaking a car in a kitchen? I'm reeling you right. in, Dan Natterman. He was, I thought he was very funny. His <laughs> jokes were great. He was playing with Howie a little bit. Yeah. And he played off the audience, and I thought he was very funny. I think native New Yorkers are innately funny. I don't know if they just get all the material from huh? being in such a wacky city all the time. I but think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, they're funny. Like, uh, when you grow up, it makes you a little bit crazy. I'd be quiet here. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying anything. Um, okay. Well, because, you know, so let's so, talk about someone else then. <laughs> let's talk about Miguel Dakota, our last act of the night. And it was the most highly anticipated act, according to Daniel Weiss, because you were really excited to see him. You really liked him. Last week, I was I was curious to see him because last week there were a lot of male singers that got nervous and didn't do a good job, and I enjoyed watching him personally. Miguel, his singing was good, but I enjoyed the performance he did. Uh, you mean last week or last this week? week? Well, oh. both this week okay. as well. But that's why I was looking forward to it. So what do you think of this week? I thought he did a good job. He started a little slow and he started with the whisper singing that I don't really like. Yeah, it was kind of slow. Ah. But then he built it up and the band kicked in. I thought that he did a really good job. I like him, but there's something off about him that I can't figure out that makes me not want to pay money to see him. They're definitely pimping him out. They gave him a band this week. They put him at the finale. Like, they want him to yes. be on the show, they right? They do. They do. But he, he belongs on The Voice. Exactly. Same thing. Maybe the same kind of is. singer. Yeah. yeah. It's like he wasn't, what, yeah, what's unique? There wasn't anything terribly unique about him. Yeah. No. I, just, I love that song. Yeah, it was a good song. I mean, he, it was a good choice for him, too. He, so, but. I have to ask you, since I didn't watch last week, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> you just told everyone. <laughs> um, were they on the stage at Radio City? Not Radio City. No, they never really said where they York. were. That's Just true. some stage. Some stage. Some okay. stage. Yes, they okay. never really said where they are. Daniel's backyard. So with that Don't said, Don't tell anyone. <laughs> my backyard is a stage in New York. <laughs> with that said, I would say that every act had confidence tonight. I mean, this was the first night of the live shows. Yes. Their first time on that stage at Radio City, and it's a huge, huge, huge deal. 
and they all seem confident. They all seem competent. Yeah. Um, you know, even though some of them weren't our favorites, like there were no nerves that got in the way, and that's kind of unusual. Well, I think they cut a lot of that. They, they cut the nerves. Yeah, because there were. What, they just showed 68? the waist up, so you can yes. see their legs yeah. shaking. They're just <laughs> shaking crazy. Well, no, I mean, obviously they're <laughs> nervous, but I felt like there were what sixty-eight acts last year. Something like that, sixty. Uh, it oh, was six, top. There were sixty. Yes. Yeah. yeah, sixty. This year's this forty-eight. Year's 48. 48. So I felt like the last show, wherever it was, was more people that let their nerves get to them. Uh, were they were the judges were less lenient on them, and a lot of them got cut. So th these were the people that came, and they were more prepared mm -hmm. and they had more confidence mm -hmm. so i think that's why they p found people that were more ready i think that they had 60 last year because they wanted to include those 12 joke acts like okay. the belly slapping and the blah 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 uh, right. and I mean, it's kind of good that there wasn't in, like it's it's a serious competition yeah, at this it was point different. like you know they've gotten this far there shouldn't be jokes mm -hmm. in there. and right. none of these they weren't none of them were like you didn't pity them afterwards. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. They, they were relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. So, or they weren't debatable. What, do they really belong here? Right, you know, right, one of those. Right. Um, let's move on to predictions. And in our predictions, let's talk about our favorite act of the night that and you think will be moving on and our least favorite acts that you think will not be moving on. I've, I've never, this is a new thing for me. Ooh, yes. That was just for you. Just like, uh, Space Mountain. Oh, it's Space all about so Disney good. tonight. I love it Disney. Is. Anytime anyone wants to go, I'll be there. Let's go. Let's go. Right now. After this. Okay. So what do you predict? Your favorite act of the night and what do you predict? Which acts do you predict? Will My go favorite act of the night was the the balancing danger act, Velo and Bobby. Really? Yeah. Okay. They were, they were. Because I thought it was so unique and so dangerous. Yeah. Um, and I think that they are a shoe in to go through. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yes, next. Oh, my name's Daniel. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I I will agree with you. I think Velo and Bobby, because mm. here they evoked the most emotion out of me watching them. Mm -hmm. I thought they're my favorite, and Dan Natterman was my favorite. But I'm also gonna say that Emily West is going through, and I think that uh, probably Jasmine Flowers, because I definitely watched it. <laughs> um, I actually my favorite actor of the night. Is Jasmine Flowers okay? I really like it. It's not because you're Asian. It's not because I'm Asian. I'm it's not because commenting it on was that. unique for a dance group, and it, it was kind of magical. It was pretty. Um, however, I don't think they're gonna go through. I do think that somehow, um, yeah, Velo and Bobby are gonna go through. They were good. I liked the impressive, but it wasn't my favorite act of the night. Um, okay, your least favorite act of the night, and what act do you think is definitely not going through? Hmm. I don't think J.D. Anderson's going through. Uh, the strong man. Yeah, because yeah. no, I think at this point people are just like, I don't want to see what you have next. Well, he messed up. He flubbed. He messed up. He wasn't original. I just he was in, entertaining himself as a person, <laughs> but I don't think. Th no, I'm not saying that he was entertaining himself. He I probably was it. also. He was an entertaining <laughs> person, but I just I don't think that it's okay. good enough. Okay. I don't think the Willis clan is going to go through. I hope. Oh, and they've yeah. got like I don't like clans. kids to lean on. They'll be fine. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. Um, I'm I'm not, I'm kind of on the fence with David and Lehman. I think they're going to be on the fence. But yeah, I don't know. Right? I I. <sighs> I don't think it was entertaining at home enough. That's what it and was. And that's who's going to be voting now. It's not the judges. It's the people who are watching. Who are just it. not engaged. And they're right, just going right. to say, I don't. I just didn't. Yeah. Care. I'm going to say Sean and Luke will not be going through out of the first act. I think they kind of have a chance okay. because they're at that heartthrob age, and I feel right. like a lot of young female It's fans them or Miguel gonna... as far as the oh, heartthrob. Oh, Miguel, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So I, I could see them going through Sean and Luke. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want them to, but I could see them going and through. And we, we find out t t tomorrow night, right? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. We and we will talk it. about it next week. We, we will talk about it next week. And that about wraps up our after show. Yes. It does. But in the meantime, everyone can continue the conversation on Twitter um, and also on iTunes. Stop over at iTunes, comment, rate, let yes. us know what you thought about this show, what you think about all the different acts, and also stop over at YouTube. And leave yes, some if you're as well. listening to this, go to YouTube, see what we look like. We're pretty people.
Oh, Some thank of you. us that, that nice bothered to um, shave. Yeah. Look, don't talk about Corey like that. She's very <laughs> sensitive about her mustache. Oh, my goodness. Brandon. You should see her legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brandon, thank in you. the meantime, where can everyone follow you? What are you going to be up to? Um, you can follow me on uh, Twitter at Brandon J Music. That's B R A N D E N J Music. Or Instagram or my Facebook page or www.brandonjames.com. I've got a lot of tour dates coming up. Uh, Check him out. Midwest. He's coming to your city. He's a good singer. Yeah. yeah. And he's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel. I'm Daniel. You can find me at It's Daniel Weiss on the Twitter. You can also find my improv group, uh, Doctor Who Live, on the Facebook. Please. And uh. proselytizing to 12 disciples at any given moment. Yes, I will be <laughs> at the mountaintop. <laughs> talking to people because apparently <laughs> if you have a beard and long hair you're jesus that that's that is kind of the typical uh description but uh you can find me in the meantime at k-a-o-r-i-o-u-s on Ooh, twitter as cool. well as Ooh. instagram and you can follow the whole entire team here at buzz tv and we'll catch you guys next week for another after show from executive producers maria menounos kevin undergaro phil svitek and the entire after buzz tv staff we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. Let the Wookiee win. Later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs>